Hello everyone and welcome back to Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Last time we played we We had found the port uh Port Rego, I think it was. And we met up with Captain Briggs. Who has given us uh or who gave us the hummus water, which I was not expecting to be honest. But with that we could uh free the city of oh well the, the village of Kolima completely from its curse. And we met a genie who has not joined us yet, but is more of a messenger for someone called Lauren, I think it was. So let's see if we can talk to him. Hehehe. <laughs> no, we can't. We have to follow him. So, where will you bring us, mate? To the right. Oh. What happens if I go to the left? <laughs> Ooh, wait. What are you doing here? I was not expecting that it would work, but... Mate? Hello. It's good to be back to work again, but the voices from the forest sure are spooky. Hmm. So there was something here, but not something... That I can watch. Wait a bit, I need to do something very quickly. Okay, I'm back. I was just I'm boiling some potatoes and I have to watch it if it doesn't boil up or something. Uh, anyway, I don't do monsters come here? I'm not sure, I think not. But let's go up then. See if what we can find here. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing man? I want to explore. Let me explore. This thing has every is everywhere. Oh, I, I will have to fall down from there. Are you, mate? Seriously? This will be a shortcut for next time, I think. <coughs> so let's go to the right then. His it was kind of obvious about that one. Okay. I guess it's all right if we just follow him for now. Next time we can. Uh, oh. Afterwards, we can come see if it has something at least on it. But from from what I've seen immediately now is that uh, if you try to do this one before you go to breaks, you can't really, because everything is immediately you're stuck at the beginning. Even if you know the way, as you guys saw, I went every uh, all oh, around every corner, but it didn't do anything. So. We didn't see even one change in the from the area, so I guess it uh, means that we can only do it this way. So first things first, let's go get some treasure so that we don't have to fall down afterwards. Oh, it's just a potion. Okay, then what else is there? Uh, I guess I will have to fall down for here. And here I can... You know what? I think we'll be having that one, uh, to use that one a lot of times here, so we'll already put that one in a shortcut. So that we can go ahead and find more stuff here. Is that, yeah, that's a... No, that's not a door. Seems to be nothing special though there. Why would you fall down? It would bring us nowhere. No, will this one, because we already got that treasure. There you go. And you break this rock, please. Because that way we can always go back. If we, for example, fell down there, even by mistake. What the? Hey, you made it. I owe Laurel five, five coins. Blue loop? Hello. Hey, what's the matter, big fella? Looks like you got a fright. What do you expect when you when you just pop out of nowhere like that? Please. That you uh, that got you all hot and bothered? Not much of a warrior, are you? Pewter, I have warned you about being polite to guests. 
My deepest apologies, you have not traveled all this way to li listen to Pewter's nonsense. Um, if I may introduce myself, I am Laurel, a guardian of this forest. You're a talking tree? Ahem. <clears throat> I am usually referred to as a holy tree. On my better days, I even a tree of wisdom. Astonishing to meet the holy tree in the flesh. The flesh? Tree of wisdom? We have legends of, of such an Ayute. Are you familiar with the tale of the enlightened lark? Um. Indeed I am. The log in question perched in my branches for a time on his path to understanding. Oh. I apologize for not recognizing you, Elder Laurel. I am Amiti. It is a great honor to meet you, Holy One. Psst. Amiti, what are you doing? We are in the presence of an enlightened being entity. Bow your heads. Did I mean it? Uh, did I mean it just called the Three Holy One. Yeah, I think it did. Does he think Lore is some sort of priest or god? Oh, do please raise your head, Amity. I am no divinity. And the last thing I need is someone praying to me. I understand that you, uh, that, that to your relatively short-lived species, the world can seem godlike. Well, the, these plant-based living beings for many ge human generations ha live for many human generations and gather Immense uh, knowledge over their long lives. Certain Welder tribesmen, such as Red and Laurel, have gained enough wisdom to be defied and known as enlightened trees. I can also see how, from your point of view, a talking tr a plant would be novel. What? I prefer to think of us as being those uh, of us being whose lives, long lives, allow us to gather a share of the world's knowledge. I must respectfully disagree. The qualities you describe are the very essence of divinity. What part of I'm not a god are you not a sandfish brain? But that's enough pewter. Um, sorry. I, apo uh, I apologize again for pewter. I'm, I also must thank you for the, for what you have done for the tree. tree. <coughs> Dream tree. If you had not intervened, I am certain that sludge would have destroyed it. This monster was born from the angry spirits of the creatures killed when the Golden Sun relocated Kolima village. Its curse altered the dream tree to produce nightmare causing leaves. Hmm. Poor Sludge deserves some sympathy as well though. His home was destroyed around him. Is that why you didn't fight it? You felt sorry for the lizard thing? Hey, if uh, Laura and the others had been healthy, Sludge wouldn't have stood a chance. Healthy? Is Laurel sick? Injured. Well, that can uh, take a while to heal, and I was still hurt from 30 years ago when the thing happened. Oh, the thing. You mean the Golden Sun? Yes. Pewter isn't one for detail, but let us return to the matter at hand. Is there some way I can repay you? Hmm. Uh, Matthew, do you think that you could, we can just ask the Holy Tree for the feather? A feather? Uh, yes, we came to Kalima looking for a feather from a mountain rock. What for, if I may ask? I saw the brother sewing, and Matthew's dad, Isaac, said we had to get a new feather for it. Did you just say Isaac? What about Isaac? <laughs> Hello, Tread. Ah, awake at last, Tread. Tread? Is that you? Tread is ugly. So this is red. What? <laughs> Tarrell, <laughs> a bit mean on red. <laughs> Another tree of wisdom. Hmm. Yes, yes, I am Tread. Who are, and who are you all? These are the warriors who defeated Sludge. Hmm. Sludge. I I thought I subdued him some time ago. He recovered while you were resting, Tread. He was gnawing at Kolima again. He had almost destroyed the Dream Tree when we intervened. What? Oh, and why didn't you stop him, Laurel? I was occupied defending the rest of the, uh, the forest from his influence. Of course, we are not what we once were. Oh, but we were talking about Isaac. What were you all going to tell me about him? Apparently, these young children are the chi uh, these young humans are the children of the warriors of Vale. Warriors of Vale? Is that what they're calling Isaac and Ivan and Mia and? There was one more. 
Yeah, Garrett, did you just forget about my dad? Hmm. Yes, Garrett, you're the firebrand, son, eh? Well, what is your name? Um, I'm Tyrell. Oh, 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 yes. I see Garrett in your is in your aura. Let's see who I see in the rest of you. Hmm. Ah, you're all adepts. Good. You do look like the Veil vale Warriors. Ah, you. You are Isaac's son. What is your name? Um, I'm Matthew. What was that? You'll have to speak up. I didn't catch your name. It's kind of quiet. His name is Matthew. And you are Ivan's daughter, hmm. Yes, uh, yes I am, I'm Karis. Looks like you got a bit of more spark than your father, and just as clever too. Uh, two more of you. My, ne uh, my name is Reef, you were a great help for to my mother. Is that so? I would say it was the other way around. I am Amiti of Ayute, it is a great honor to make your acquaintance. I'm charmed, I'm sure. Hmm? Another relative of Mia, right? Oh. This warrior of Veil vale traveled with Isaac. She is a water adept whose powers were inherited by her son, Reef. She is descended from the Mercury clan, keeper of the um, elemental lighthouse of the same name. What? Uh, what? Are you serious? A surviving with us, but is from AJ from the south. He's a prince of the of Ayute Kingdom. So you're saying he's not related to your group? His aura says otherwise. Let's not get distracted by trivialities uh, right now. Trivialities? Trivi trivialities? Hmm? But what? what's going on? Hmm, could this be? Hmm, hope, hope I didn't give away any family secrets. Please forgive threat his bluntness. I keep having I keep having to apologize to you for the behaviors of my companions. Hmm. This is a topic best discussed amongst yourself, I think. Let us change the subject. Change the subject? Why? I believe we were discussing a feather of some sort. Oh right, a feather from the mountain rock. Yes, quite, I oh, understand. I hope we can, uh, someone as wise as you can help us. Hmm, is that so? Unfortunate. Eh, uh, what? What's unfortunate? It's the mountain rock. What's the problem? You want to show your hell uh, thanks? We need a feather. Simple. No, simple is the one. It's not, I'm afraid. You're a tree of wisdom. Don't you know everything? Is a feather really too much? Clearly there's something you haven't told us. Um, well, hmm. Out with it. We should tell them. What? Probably won't make a difference, but yes. The rock in question. The ro mountain rock is sleeping. Deeply. Very deeply. Such is the rock's slumber that extracting a feather as it sleeps is impossible. What's more, only a certain type of sanity can wake it. A slab? Uh, I think it is. <laughs> yes, and it is a sanity that only naturally occurs among the beastmen. It's called slap. <coughs> Sveta! Hapsanji! She has Hapsanji! Yes, that mu uh, must be the Hapsanji we need. You know an adept uh, capable of slap? Only Sveta, but she's currently in Belinsk, which is problematic. Is slap the only way to awaken the mountain rock? Yes, it's all, but it's possible to use the slap globe instead of the natural ability. This globe uh, creates the same effect as slap energy in your uh, beastmen. Even those without synergy powers can use this treasure of Morgul. Last I knew, the slap globe was located in Belinsk. It's one of the Fang tribe's great treasures. Ah, that doesn't help. <laughs> so that just brings you back to where you were, doesn't it? Hmm. Wait, didn't Brick say that Thread might know something about Berlin's castle and its defenses? What? He might know something that will help us rescue Aeolio. Let's ask him. Ask me what now? Speak up. We need to rescue the pirate Aeolio from Berlin's castle before he's buried alive. What? Hmm. So you're asking us if there's a way to break into Berlin's prison, is that right? Well, it's not really a prison, it's more to the left of the castle. Is that it? Well, uh, well, yeah, if you want, 
If you want to tank us, that would be do the, the job kind of perfectly. Hmm. I suppose we do owe you that, but the way it, it will, uh, but the way will not be without risk. The city's energy was depleted some time ago, which will be a problem for you. Hmm. You should uh, first know that the front gate is essentially impossible to pass too discreetly. Yeah, we were hoping you would know some other way. Uh, you assume a castle built on ancient ruins must have a secret entrance in infested with traps and monsters. Yes. Well, yes. Hmm. Well, you're right this time. There is a hidden door, but it can't be used without being pow powered somehow. If you can bring power to the door, I'm certain it will be opera operable. Operable by the control switch or the like. Hmm, that should help us greatly. So you will need an object infused with magma power. Fortunately for you, we know of one. Wonderful, what is it? <laughs> when the fountain rock awakens. Oh, yes, when the rock awakens. When the great bird is defeated, a shard of its power will appear. You will know it on, on sight. What? That should be all you need to know. Just in time too. I feel a nap coming on. Looks like I really did fall asleep. <coughs> so is that it? Are we going to try to sneak into Berlin's castle now? I think we will. I'm glad you're so relaxed. Me? I don't know if you can pull it off. We need to me uh, meet up with Svera too. I'm just not sure how this will all work, yeah? Hmm. I do have one favor to ask of you. The reason Berlin's ruins lie dormant is the dangerous legacy that sleeps there. Hmm? Dangerous? Like a weapon or something? Are you saying that the power was cut intentionally? I cannot say. What is the favor you... Oh. What is the favor you spoke of? There is an alchemy dynamo in the ruins. You must not restore power to it. But not con... Oh, okay. How will we even do that? If I told you, that would bring you one step closer to activating it. So I will not share that secret. Whatever. What? Why would we even want to turn on some stupid dynamo? We're not turning it on, are we, uh, Matthew? Maybe we will. Right, definitely not turning it on. I like your confidence. Excellent. I believe that you will be true to your word. We will be turning that on immediately, I think. You're developing into a real leader, Matthew. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Shall we sell, uh, sally forth then? Thread can't wish you farewell, but please accept my wish for your safe travels fr from both of us. Okay. We. Well, you impressed the boss lady anyway. Hmm. So, congratulations. You just scored some major help in your quest thingy. Uh, sure. And Laura said something about me get, uh, getting some experience in the field. Hmm? What? Are you new? I'm joining your merry little band. Um, can we decline? So we're all on the same scroll? Good, let's get going. I guess I can't. So then, Peter, come to my group then. And another story related to Ginny. Peter, Laurel uses the spirit as emotion. Oh, a uh, spirit of emotion as her envoy. Sometimes to hug her regret. Pure as a deck can penetrate strong defense with molten metal. And Ginny. Okay. Ah, oh, fine, I guess. Uh, what I wanted to do is go first to the the left. Wait, no. Let's, let's not go. Hmm. Should I go to the left? Should I go up? I don't. I'm not sure. I think. Let's go up. The void has uh, cleared off, but that's fine. I don't think we've met any enemies here at the moment, so... Kolima Junction! Oh, there you go, that's where the junction is. So you're going to... You, so you are going to Belinsk. Oh! Ryuko, uh, Ryuko. Did you send all the musicians back to Belinsk? Uh, nope. It doesn't appear so. How did you know about that? Have you been following us? That's not important now. Your goal is the mountain rock. Don't tell us what the goal are, codes are. Wait a moment. <coughs> Uh, is that what I think it is? That glove, it has to be, right? Where did you get that? Sweda gave it to us. What? It's a select glove. Mm hmm. But you're not the adept. Do you even know how to use it? 
Are you calling us stupid? Now, now, let's not get upset. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement of some sort. Are you suggesting we all team up and walk together? What a bright young lady you are, exactly. How is it that you know so much about the mountain rock and the slap glove? We may have overheard a conversation or two while with some talking trees. The deal you propose, you are offering the slap glove in exchange for what? We want your help in uh, sneaking into Villain's castle. You were going anyway, right? If you are planning to sneak in and rescue the champ uh, champion uh, pirate, you could, we could just go with you. No, figures. Come on, Hosan, we are leaving. Don't be so certain, young one. No, wait! What are you doing, Karis? Something's bothering me. I think this is actually what Sweda wanted to happen. And I think we have to play along. Uh, Karis, what are you talking about? Don't you get it? After the three uh, Tepe ruins, she left us so suddenly. And remember when you, uh, we told her about the mountain rock? She acted differently after that. And that's uh, uh, Slavkov. Tread told us that it was in Belinsk, a treasure of the Fang tribe. This veiled dreadman is one of the elders uh, and guardian of Kalima Forest, along with Laurel. Over time, he has grown into a massive tree and has protected all of Kalima from numerous calamities. So it means that Sweda might belong to the Fang tribe. So if Sweda gave it to you, she must be pretty important in the Fang tribe, right? Uh, I wouldn't know. Really? I bet, I, I bet you do. Uh, I have heard her called the White Deer. She is part of the Mughal royal family. The... Oh, okay, how do I spell that? Says Maral clan. Says Maral clan. She is sister to King Volacek. Um, what? She told us that you would uh, pass through here to reach the rock, so we've been waiting for you. She lent us a slap glove, so you uh, you would have us break into Belinsk. Beyond the slap glove, can you offer any sort of help with our entry into Belinsk? Yes. You have some soldiers, but they are still too injured to be of any help. Not equ exactly an equal partnership. You two with a and a glove with the five of us end up synergy. <laughs> but we need a uh, slap synergy of the glove or the glove. Looks like Sweda gets her way. That's okay, I guess. Guess we stuck with doing whatever Sweda or whatever her name is once. So it's decided then? Yes. Good, let's get started then. I guess they joined us now. And we got the. Uh, any adept can use a slap cloth. Ooh. A bit unexpected, but we'll take it then. Uh, let's give it to. Let's give it to Reef. Now he can't wait, no, wrong thing. I wanted to use see this one. There you go, now we can slap slap everyone. I don't know why I put it on both sides. But here is what I wanted to do. Can I push that down? And can I crush it? Yes I can, nice. But for now, we have this path opened again. And with this, we can get that guy over there. I said we can get that guy over there. Hello. Have you finished uh, taking a shower? Probably has. So join us, my friend. <coughs> Tear drop. The spirit embodies tears shed in grief and is encountered in Kolima Junction. Teardrop's own tears can bring people, uh, people back from the brink of death. No, I want to check something. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not good. We are missing two of them. I'll have to see where they are. And how about this one? Mercury, we got everyone, so that's good. Mars, at the moment, we also got everyone here. Uh, that's the sweaters ones, right? Yeah. So we're ha we are one before we meet up with Sweda again. There you go. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, I have a feeling like uh, we're almost full with genies, though. I got. Th I have a feeling like we can only get one more genie for everyone. And afterwards we get we are getting an overflow of genies. 
Well, anyway, let's get back to the area there. And since that one is the way that we are supposed to go, I'll go the way that I want to go. No, stop! No, I don't want to go up. I got a slap glove. <laughs> ah, you have found the slap glove. Excellent. The rock sleeps atop ta a talon peak, but you, you will not see it there. Once it becomes flesh and bone, a slap should knock it unconscious. I'm certain that it will then drop a feather. Okay, I was not expecting that cutscene, but it's fine. It was a bit funny. It's like, hey, hello, got slap gloves. Okay, good. So let's see what's in this place then. There is something here. It's an apple. Um. Mate? Are you a tree as well? <laughs> and, 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 there is another tree of wisdom. Um, no, no. Tree of what, dumb? I wouldn't even be here. I was here as a girl by some merchants. I just climbed the tree to get some of that fruit when I slipped and fell in here. I'm glad to see someone, but I don't know if you can help me. Is there someone else you can send? Hmm. Let's see, what synergy do I need to help him? Poor dude. It doesn't show. Maybe it will show when I'm at top. Uh, at oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, wrong one. Growth! This thing. There you go, mate. And how do I get that one? Oh, grab, of course. <laughs> I thought I had to hit that one out of the, the, air, the air or something so that it falls down, but that one works as well. Ah, oh, yeah, we got another apple. Hey, mate, I'm coming down to, uh, to you as well. Hello. Uh, wait, where did you all come? Uh, where did all these come from? Hmm. I'm sure these ones weren't here a minute ago. Plants sure grow fast around here. I'm so glad you came. I thought I was gonna be stuck here, here forever. Oh, here. Take this. Just my way of saying thanks. Ooh. Nice looking bow. Thank you, mate. Mm, thank you, mate. Okay, let's see what uh, this bow can do then. And another one of this. I'm gonna give that one to Ty uh, Tyrell here for now. And did Drift get the bow? Yes, it did. Oh, that one's a good one. By good, I mean strong weapon. And to you, have you? Yeah, you've mastered this weapon. Okay, that's fine then. Give it to Reef. Mm. Could give it to Reef then. Uh, equip Frostbrand? No. But I'll just give him the the weapon. The, the heavy ones I need to sell afterwards, I think. But anyway, with this I will also end the episode. So then everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Next time we'll go ahead and go on our rock hunt. Even though that is supposed to be what we will be doing last in the game, I think. Getting a feather now is a good idea, right? So that we never, uh, we don't have to come back here when... Uh, when we are at the end. So then everyone, as I said, I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye!